Hey everyone, thanks for uh, joining in. I hope you like this tutorial on um, adding a tattoo decal with tattoo paper um, right to your cup. So I'm going to show you how I made these decals and how I put them on. Um, so it's important that you understand um, that you're using the right paper and for your printer and, and what goes on with that. But you also could use just temporary tattoos that you buy at the store, <laughs> like at the dollar store, you'd probably get some, um, like at Party City in the kids section, like you could use those tattoos um, if you want. But to print your own, um, you need to make sure that you have the right paper for the right printer. So you can use inkjet or laser. And later in the video, I make a little mistake. So let me get this correct for you right now, that if you have a laser printer, you do not have to wait for any dry time. Like it comes right out and it's ready to use. If you have an inkjet printer, you have to make sure that you let the design fully dry um, before you move on with the process. Now you can either, you know, let that dry for like an hour or you can speed it along with um, like your hair dryer or something. That's what I did. I blew on with some cool air um, to speed up the process. One of the benefits of using temporary tattoo paper is that you do not have to seal it, um, which is super nice. So you just have to let it dry. And then the last thing I want to say is that you just have to put it on a smooth surface. So the cup that I'm using um, in this tutorial is a smoke cup. Okay, so I did the smoke and then I sprayed it with clear spray paint. So this is a smooth surface, um, but you can do them over glitter or whatever you want. A lighter background is going to be best because they are a little transparent. So you're, if you really want to see what you're doing, um, a lighter background is better. As long as your surface is completely smooth, you can put a decal on it. Okay, so I hope that you enjoy this video and it helps you moving forward. Please comment below if you have any questions at all. All right, so I'm using this Sunny Scopa brand of tattoo paper. They have different kinds, right? Inkjet or laser. Um, make sure that you check your printer and check that you're getting the right kind. Um, so on the back, um, it has a little bit more information. So, and directions. So there's two different things. Okay, there's the tattoo paper and the, um, what you print on and the, the transfer tape, basically, the adhesive sheet. So you're gonna print on the paper and then you're going to apply the adhesive and transfer it that way. All right, so a couple of things for printing. First, make sure you mirror your image before you print. And secondly, it's probably more most cost effective to fill your whole sheet with designs that you're going to use. However, I just decided to do this right now. I don't have any other designs, so I tried to just use the top and then I cut it so then I can still send it through my printer. Um, and then I cut the adhesive sheet to the exact same size. So since I have an inkjet printer, I have to let this dry. I went over it with my hair dryer. Um, if you don't do that, you need to wait an hour. I'm still gonna wait because I'm still waiting on my cup to fully dry. So I'm gonna probably wait another 30 or so minutes uh, before I do anything with this. I just wanna make sure it's fully dry. If you have an inkjet printer, you don't have to let it dry. It, you know, it's already dry. Um, one of the benefits of having an inkjet printer, but or a laser printer, but I have the inkjet, so I have to wait. Um, then I will be back and show you the next steps when I'm ready to put this decal, these both these decals on my cup. Okay, so I'm going to peel back the adhesive sheet. Just lying it up on the edge. So 
can pull it away and minimize any bubbles. And I am going to cut I'm just going to cut as close to the design as I can. Okay, so now I peel back this film and then I'm going to stick this onto my cup, but you have to be very careful because once you stick it down, you can't stick it back up, right? It's, you're gonna ruin your tattoo. So, making sure that it's lined up. when I'm pressing it down so everything is stuck to the cup. I should say um, I finished my clear coat um, probably about an hour ago. I ended up doing two coats, um, two light coats, just to be sure. Um, and okay, now once it's stuck, I've got a damp paper towel. Just going to get this wet. And you definitely need to seal your smoke, otherwise, this water is going to have a problem. Okay, so this particular tattoo paper says after 10 seconds, you can remove the paper. I use a little more water. And there you have it. So I am going to let this dry. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I need to, but I'm going to before I turn over and do the other side. So again, I'm just going to peel the adhesive off and then I'm going to lay my decal. Pressing it down, and you see the other side's just fine, but you want to be careful because once you lay it, there's no repositioning it. Okay, and then I'm taking a damp, wet paper towel, and it says to keep wet for 10 seconds.
and then you peel it right off. So now I've got two sides of my smoke cup and holy cow, do I absolutely love it. Okay, so I'm just taking some paper towel and wiping, sort of dabbing any of the wet spots and I'm gonna let this dry. So I can't um, seal it for an, at least um, like 48 hours because of my spray paint. So that should give this plenty of time to dry. On both sides. Before I move and seal.